Hi. Today's video is a continuation of making fillable PDF forms. A uh, question has come up. Uh, how do I view and fill out my form on my phone or tablet? Is that possible? Well, yes, it is possible. But we need to start from the very beginning of creating this form in order for it to all work out right. Now, we're going to look at that, what we need to do uh, when we first create our form and um, right now you can see we have open office open which is what we've been using for creating PDF forms I'm going to skip ahead we're going to look at the program you're going to use is PDFs PDF forms so uh, let's look at that right now now the uh, program you're going to be using is called fill and sign PDFs now um, it looks like this with these fields where you're going to fill in and you can see it just says text box, text box, text box and that's not very helpful when you're um, when you're trying to fill out a form let's say it's an invoice and you're trying to fill it out right on the spot for a client um, you don't have time to try to recall what is text box 1252 mean and what does text box 1256 require um, it's a, just a mess and that's why we have to start from when we build the PDF so that we um, have everything accurate. Now you can get this uh, this uh, app from Google Play uh, it's called Fill and Sign PDF Forms and you can see here that uh, it's by Binary Solutions good program does everything we need um, but this is like the last step is to get this program. The first step is we need to build this thing right. So let's get started on seeing how do we build this thing right. Now we already talked about how to build a form and I'm just going to make some little generic quick thing here. This is our form for example and we can make it gussy it up if you go to the top and go to view um, drawing then you can have this toolbar on the bottom that allows you to draw lines there was a question how do I make a line and kinda decorate the thing you know you might want to format things that have you know the, the top of the invoice or what it, whatever form it is um, divided by a line and uh, some text and so we're we're just seeing how to go about doing that <coughs> here just go to the bottom, find the line um, option there, and then you make a line. Uh, you can also make squares, rectangles, circles, different things. Uh, but for our uh, video here, we're looking at how are we going to make form fields that are going to work uh, for a phone or tablet when we're filling it out. So we're going to take a text box, and we're going to put it down here. Okay. And now we've got our text box down here, you can see, but we need to set the parameters. So we're going to double click it. It's going to open up a box that's going to allow us to put parameters. Now, if you notice on the top of this box, very important. We didn't really look at this before. We didn't really name it. But now, since we want to be able to see each form field and understand what it's going to be, we're going to name each form field name here or something like that. That way when you're filling it out in front of a client or you're just filling it out on the spot you don't have to remember what each box requires. We could even put date uh, for this form field. We can put amount or uh, uh, quantity Oops, quantity and uh, you put that up here in name. Do not put it in label field. Uh, you want to put it in name and this will show up not on the form but um, when the client sees the form but on the form when you're filling it out that's what it's going to say there. That way you know what particular field you're filling out. So we're going to format the rest of this we don't want any outline on this so we're going to take out the 3D look from the border. We're going to make it without a frame so it's kind of like invisible but when we go to fill it out it won't be invisible. And 
we can change the size of the font. I'm just going to leave it the same. We don't want to be messing with this too much right now because we're talking about uh, making this work with a phone. So I'm done putting the name of the field up there. So we say quantity. Actually, let's change it back to name because we're going to put several fields here. Let's get another one. We're going to make another text box right underneath the last one and we're going to double click it and this one will also be calling itself text box 2 uh, because or text box 1 because we changed the name of text box 1 and so if we hadn't this one would call itself text box 2 and then we open another one it would call itself text box 3 and so on and so forth in this case we're going to change the name to we have name we're going to put date and we're going to again take out the 3D look I'm just doing this because this is what I prefer. You can leave the 3D look in if you'd like. And um, now I'm going to make another one. And this will be, we'll make two more. That way when we fill out the form, you can witness what they look like, how we're going to tell the difference between them. This part we're going to put, um, we'll put units. Sometimes in an invoice you might want to put how many units you have in there or what type of units it is. Uh, let's say it's labor or um, some type of part. So we're going to go here without frame. Close that. And, and actually, I'm going to type in. Well, actually, we're going to do the last one here. Make one more. I'm trying to make this quick here. It's not a really long video for you. you. You're getting the idea of what we need to do on each of these boxes. We need to specify each one of these boxes. In this one, we're going to say quantity. And I'm, again, I'm going to take out the 3D look. OK, let's pretend we're done with this. OK, and now we're going to go and save it. I'm going to open it in the uh, form reader program. Uh, and you can see how it looks there and how we're going to fill it out. As you can see, we have our form opened up in the program that we installed. And um, if you also notice, each form field has um, the name of what we would like to have filled in each of these, uh, and look, I spelled quantity wrong, um, in each of these fields. So um, we can do that now. Oops. So we've uh, put a name, a date, uh, how many units, what quantity, spelled it wrong, um, we want, and then um, we can go ahead and save and share. So this is pretty much the final step. This is like the proving ground to see if everything that we've done in previous steps is going to work out as far as creating the fields correctly, naming them correctly, and um, then the final proof will be when we open it up as a PDF the way a client would receive it or whoever we're sending this PDF to uh, would see it. We're not going to see these name, date, units, and quantity. We're going to see my name and the date and so on and so forth. So uh, that's how it looks when we fill it out. And if we did the first step correctly, which was creating these uh, fields, then everything else is pretty easy. Well, now I've opened up our form that we've created and that we filled out in a PDF viewer, which just allows us to see what the final result is. We have uh, our lines that we made and uh, the text that we put up there. And then, if you remember, we have these as our form fields. My name, the date, the uh, units, and the quantity. And you can see that it doesn't mention any of those the names of the form fields, it just th that was for our benefit. And so we filled it out and this is how it's going to turn out when we send it to um, our client or whoever we want to send it to.
So to recap, uh, what we need to do is make sure at the very beginning we are filling out the name field uh, so that we know at the end what we're filling out when we're filling out this form. Uh, every other step doesn't matter if we get this part wrong. Um, if we don't fill this out and we just leave it text box 1, 2, or 3, or whatever it is, we're not going to be able to know what we're supposed to be filling out on this form afterwards. So uh, make sure this is done at the very beginning. Save the file, export it as a PDF, and then uh, once you do that, save it in your phone, tablet, wherever it is that you're going to be using it from. Make sure you install the app that we mentioned earlier and uh, then open that PDF with the app and you can fill it out and uh, send it and that's it. Just uh, making sure that this first step is done and that makes everything else fall into place. If you have any other questions, leave it in the comment section. This video was an answer to the question, how do I fill out these forms on my phone or tablet.